can't wait to compete with us and try to beat them. Where do you think you stack up with those guys? Um, I think I'm right up there with them. You know, um, like I said, they're all great guys, and I think I can compete with all of them. You put yourself ahead of any of them? Um, I mean, that's not up to me. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go out there, you know, try to compete hard and do better this year, and hopefully they'll put me first. Is there a little chip on your shoulder? Yeah, what? Put a chip on your shoulder? Um, yeah, I mean, it's always a chip on my shoulder. I'm all, I mean, I put a chip on my shoulder, you know, just because I'm a competitor. You know what I mean? I'm always trying to do better. So, you want to talk about potential in that particular A lot of high thoughts, but most of it's based on the Tyler Wilson stepping right here. Do you think he's going to be that guy? Have you seen that? Um, I don't think he's, he's going to be around Ryan Mallett. I think he's going to be a Tyler Wilson. He, you know, he has his own identity, and um, I think he's going to do great things for us. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, I have to block for him, you know what I mean? And he is my best friend, you know, man, Tyler, or off the field type guys, we've done things together, you know, we have chemistry. Do you ever watch any of the guys around here? Do you have any idea of something from them? Or just a lot, like a lot of guys on, on your team from defense, they just say, no, nah, I don't watch them in the game, but I've, I've watched them on them, and yeah, I steal something from them. That's it. Um, I can think in particular Mark Eagle. You know, he has a a quick first cut. You know what I mean? He hits the hole very hard, as well as Adrian Peterson and guys like that. You know, um, you learn things like that from those guys, and you try to put in your game. What are your thoughts on that? Um, Lattimore just refuses to go down, you know what I mean? He gets a lot of y uh, yards after contact. Um, young running back, and I think he's going to have a lot of success in the SEC. Um, what about You know, with myself, um, Dennis Johnson being back, Ronnie Wingo, and, you know, our four starting receivers, I, um, I think Tyler is, you know, glad that we're there. You know, we kind of take a load off. Um, of him and, you know, help him out a little bit. A lot of guys have several instances around the country where guys have gotten in trouble for selling stuff, like bowls, shirts, or whatever, things like that. Do you think, just from a player's perspective, you wish you could just, it's like, still all of them on things? You gotta have the right to be able to walk into that stuff. I mean, I mean, for them, uh, no, nah, for them, uh, for them, I mean, that's what they did. That was a decision. For me, I, I wouldn't want to sell my ring. I don't want to sell my jersey. I want those things. Because I earned them. But do you think it should be all right if they wanted to? If they want to, I mean, that's up to them. There's other resources out there. You know, I mean, if that's if it's not right, you should do it. But if it's okay, if it's okay to do it, then you can do it. When we get home, your first season arc saw your last year in high school injuries pretty much. Is there a is there a point in Arkansas that you began to feel, you know, to move past that that injury feeling if you can fight every week in the SEC, not be banged up? Well, I always wanted to know, you know, exactly what I would do if I wasn't injured. I've been getting injured since I was in high school. Um, just kind of one of those things, just, bad, you know, down on my luck. But, um, you know, last year I was able, you know, to prove to myself, you know, that, you know, I could be effective if I had a, a season, you know, injury-free. Coach Petrino, looking at you, you know, you've been 